Hi, Empress Justice here. Um, if you'd like to check out daily readings, you can check them out on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. But not today, because there are no readings today. There will be readings beginning again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is the quarter moon, so that's probably the perfect time to kind of reset. Um, I've been really low in energy lately anyway. Like it's been going on for the last, I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> So I've just been really low in energy lately. So it's not been easy for me to manage my time. But um, the daily readings will resume tomorrow. Um, I've done the full moon, not full moon, new moon reading for Rohini. If you'd like to check that out on Empress Justice Tarot Instagram, you can also check it out on Empress Justice Tarot YouTube. So you check those out. And... Yeah, that should tide you over until tomorrow. I mean, you know, you don't need to know every step of the way, do you? <laughs> but no, I've been really low in energy and my management, time management has been very poor. So my apologies to everyone. Um, my friend from Exeter, not going to mention their name again. Um, I'm going to keep them anonymous for the time being. Um, they sent me another photo of their injuries and they've also sent me other photos that could potentially be of the weapons being fired at her. Now, I'm trying to get clarification from her as to exactly where to look on these photos because, um, and it's, it's not because I don't believe her, it's because these phone cameras are shit, okay? Especially if you're taking anything from a distance and especially if you're using close up. I don't know how it is on a Mac phone when it comes to these photos, but I know that androids are spectacularly shit when it comes to like filming or photographing from a long distance. So I just have to get clarification from her as to what I'm looking at, because what I can see from the photos are bright white lights. Now, when you're being fired at with an electronic weapon, there is a light that is um, pointing at you. There are, it does take the form of bright lights pointing at you. Um, some of them pulsate, some of them don't, but they they do take the form of bright lights being pointed at you. So I completely believe her when she says she'd take a photo of the weapons. But what I need to see is, um, what I need to ascertain is whether or not she used a flash. Now, granted, I don't think the flash is going to be powerful enough to reach all the way over to that window. Okay. So I don't think the flash is going to be powerful enough to do that. But what I do think is that because the camera, the quality of the camera of that Android is like any Android, mine included, shit quality, you're not going to get what you're supposed to get. So I'm just trying to ascertain that with her. Um, I don't want her to feel pressured because I like, I, I, I truly, my heart does truly go out to her. She's been through so much. And the last thing I want to do is have anybody think that you know she she doesn't know what she's talking about you, you you would not believe you would not believe what this woman has fucking been through and what she continues to go through you wouldn't believe it you would not believe it so i'm just trying to get that info from her so if you guys bear with i'll talk to her and i'll find out what's going on But I believe her 100% when she says she photographed weapons being fired at her. I believe her 100%. She literally lives near 10 military bases. She's got students across from her. And, you know, you know some of them students are going to be engineering students or, or students into defence weaponry. Of course they're going to use it. And they said they've been frying... You know, she says they've been frying her brain relentlessly. They've been doing the same to me. I've been getting shit confused like all over the place lately do you understand what i mean because the weapons have been fired at my head so i get exactly what she's saying when she talks about these things and i i 100 believe her because the the injuries on her face and on her body like they speak for themselves she ain't making this shit up she's telling the truth 100 percent, and she's one of the worst cases that has ever been seen among ti's so 
I, I hope I hope she I hope she realizes that I really do believe her and she's I really do believe her when she said she took took a photograph of those weapons. I wouldn't be surprised if she did take a photograph of them fucking weapons. Because the thing is, these perps get sloppy. These perps get very fucking sloppy. There's either one or two things happens when perps are operating these weapons. Either they get very sloppy or they get very desperate. And for me, when I was living in supported housing in London, there was a family across from me who was spying on me through a, I think it might be a thermal camera or something like that. And they were also firing electronic weapons at me. They could see what I was doing in my bathroom and they would be basically boasting about it. Um, they'd basically be boasting about it and, you know, and trying to use my name in order to get a rise out of me and all that type of shit. So they were basically spying on me with thermal cameras and also they were firing the electronic weapons on me and bragging about it. Every time I tried to sing high notes, they'd fire at my throat and particularly my thyroid. And then they tried to gleefully take pleasure in the fact that I couldn't hit those notes because of the torture. So again, I believe this person from Exeter when they say, this is happening to me. I completely believe them. It's happened to me. Because like I said, these perps, they think they're invincible and they think that nothing can happen to them. They are very sloppy. One of the two, they're either very sloppy or they're very desperate. Sometimes they can be both. Because they think nothing's going to happen to them. They think nothing's going to happen to them. Or at least they delude themselves into thinking that nothing is going to happen to them. All the while they're trying to silence us. By trying to have our internet taken down. Trying to have our internet hacked. Trying to section us and shit. So all the while they're basically trying to silence us. Whilst living in this delusion that they could do whatever they want. And they won't, they won't get caught. So, when it comes to my friend, I believe her. I believe her. And there are plenty, there are like uh, like thousands of people, of uh, thousands of TIs in this country alone. In this country alone, let alone globally. Thousands of known TIs are in this country, like thousands of them. Let alone globally, so yeah. And because of the nature of the gang stalking, like wherever you, because wherever you move to, um, local council and local people are you know are involved in it. It can be difficult to trace the origins of who originated this in the first place. Never mind handlers and controllers. It can be difficult to ascertain the origins of how your name got on a blacklist in the first place. It can be diff difficult to ascertain that because it doesn't matter where you move to, it's always gonna be the same, right? So it's difficult to place an origin of where you being on this list came from because in my case, it's intergenerational. It didn't just start with me. The only reason I even knew about any of this is because one of my relatives was being targeted. And even then, I'm about to tell you something quite, quite um, shocking, right? And I hope they don't mind me saying this. One of my relatives was in a car crash. It was minor. It, was, it wasn't one of those things. They were stuck in traffic. And this person who, you know, this person approached them. And they tried to recruit them right there on the spot. And I've never heard of that. But they basically showed my relative all these symbols on this book. They were basically Masonic. They were Masonic people, right? They basically showed them all the symbols on this book. And they said, if you want to join us, you can. At the time, I mean, this was before I was born. No, yeah, it was definitely before I was born because it was before my cousin was born and my cousin's older than me. So... My relative was shown this book with all these symbols on it. She didn't realize at the time that they were Masonic, but she turned them down. 
This is according to her story anyway. My relative turned them down and said, no, I'm not interested. Thank you. Um, so it could have been that my relative was targeted from that point. And remember, this was before I was born. I'm, I'm 36 years old. This was before I was born. This is before my cousin was born. My cousin is like three to four years older than me. This was before they were even born. So this is four decades ago, right? My relative was shown this book and it had all kinds of symbols in it. And, you know, he said, he said these are symbols I use in order to get out of jam. So the, the person approaching her was male. So she thought he was trying to chat her up. She said, no, thank you. Kept it moving. Now, from there... It could be very fucking likely that my relative was targeted from that point on. This is what I'm saying. I'm looking back throughout my life and there are certain things that just don't make any sense to me. And now that I'm really thinking about it, the repetitions, the gaslighting, not doing anything about people or bullying you, not to, like... There is no way, like I'm looking back throughout my life, there is no way this shit ain't intergenerational. And then you have to remember MI5 were basically stalking black folk as well. Black folk, I think they were stalking travellers as well, but I'm not sure. Anybody who wasn't white Christian or patriarchal was seen as a communist. So, you know, people like my, my grandparents, like from the Windrush generation, they were being spied on since they, since they got here. And then when you kind of put all of that into context. But this is the thing about masonry. Masonry isn't white. It didn't originate as being white. That's another thing that, that nobody tells us. It was never white to begin with. Now, white folk are using it now for the purpose of white supremacy. But the truth, it, the truth is it was never white. It never originated as white. It originated from Kemet which we now know, know as Egypt, when Egypt was, you know, was populated with black folk. So masonry was never white. It was never white. But this is where it gets tricky, because even though masonry originally was never white, it doesn't mean that the, the, the top masons of the world are not white now. And it doesn't mean that the people who targeted my family were black. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, it, it's a complex mess of different things. But if my gang stalking is not intergenerational, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And then on top of that, I have to talk about my grandmother's experiences as well, because she's had experiences that when I look back now, it just seems really suspect to me. It seems very fucking suspect. Very suspect. And that's on my mum's side. And my mum's had stuff done to her that's very suspect as well. It's just the whole thing is very, very messy. Very, very messy and very complex. So I wouldn't be, again, I've said it for years. I have said it for years. I would not be surprised if my gang stalking was intergenerational. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no way it isn't. There's no way it isn't. Getting the origins. This is what I'm saying. Getting the origins of how this list came about. Because there's so much history behind it. There's so much, there's so much behind this brutality. Of people who are seen as a threat to the status quo. There's so much brutality behind it. And there are so many people who are going through this. It's difficult to place where the origins came from. We've got Operation Paperclip. We've got Barry Trower talking about everything. We've got William Binney talking about everything. We've got Catherine Horton. These people can explain it from the perspective of their own experiences. But when it comes to the origins, the origins go so far back among so many people, it's difficult to place. And, it, it, you know, and that includes how modern targets get chosen as well. I feel like the targets who know who put them on the fucking list in the first place, I feel like those people are very lucky. 
because that's very difficult to ascertain, especially if you if you've been going through this since you were a child. So, yeah, this is very difficult. It's very difficult to place. It's very difficult to, yeah. very difficult to place so I believe my friend but this is tricky it's very tricky I don't know what else to say I'm supposed to say something else because I know my, my intuition won't let me off the fucking phone I don't know what's happening really right now when it comes to me. I don't know what to, I don't get what's going on. And you know, it, it used to get to a point where I used to be afraid of moving. I'm not afraid of that anymore. Not really. I don't I don't know if I'm moving, I don't know if I'm not, but I'm not afraid of it anymore. There are worse things. Yeah, it's very complicated. I don't know how all of this is going to pan out. Somebody said that I might be... No, it's okay. Oh, I can't say. But anyway, yeah, I've got to go. I've got to get on with the rest of my day. Um, try and put this out of my mind. Yeah. But anyway, I love you guys. Take care. Peace and blessings. My fellow TIs, I love you with my entire heart. Never forget, you are strong. Okay? I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.